coming in. We're going to do a 550 gallon underground tank removal with a 275 install in the basement. And this is our access in. here. I'm going to put the overburden from the tank. See the tank either starts here and goes that way or it starts here and goes that way. We'll find out. We've got an electrical line we've got to look for and we're told the water line comes out here. So just have to be careful as we dig. We have now excavated down to the top of the tank all the overburden is put on the plastic here got down to the tank excavated alongside cut our access hole we're going to have our new installation it's actually going to come out right there so we'll get that set up we'll transfer the fuel and then enter it, clean it, and do the tank pull. Difficult access in getting this 300 pound tank down. It's straight up. Hold on, I'm gonna. The original guy we had. That's where the, the new tank's gonna go. That took quite a bit I have ten -inch thick walls. to get that down. We had to pull the railing out. So, not that easy, but it's done. We've got quite a bit of work to do on the installation. So we're going to have to transfer the usable fuel right now from the underground tank a holding tank and then we'll clean it and pull it out and the meanwhile the guys will still be doing uh, the installation then once the installation is completed we'll then transfer from the holding tank back through the house and into his new tanks Tank in. Craig and Mike are figuring out where they're drilling the holes and how it's going to come out. Figured it out yet? Yeah. Right here. Right here. All right. So we'll begin to drill. All right, Sam is cleaning the tank. We got the big dollar guy, Craig. He's running buckets. Nobody's too big in this company. That's like having Peyton Manning blow up the footballs for the big game. Dumps it in a DOT approved 55 gallon drum. So 
So to all you excavator operator guys, a real good operator can remove with that four, probably four to five tons, 10,000 pounds of dirt from there back into the hole and not disturb any of the grass underneath. A good operator can do that. So we'll get back and see if any of this grass is disturbed after it's been put back in the hole. How's it going, Sam? Huh? How's it going? Good. Good. I also wanted to explain to people out there may notice this at their home. That's, that's the fill pipe and that's the vent pipe. If you notice, the vent pipe is an inch and a quarter. The fill pipe is two inches. Uh, nowadays, that's a violation. That's not code. Because when the oil man puts the nozzle on the fill pipe, he puts a specific pounds of pressure on it. And if the outlet isn't the same size diameter of the inlet, it builds up tank pressure or head pressure on the vessel. So if that tank has any pittings or holes or weeping holes, when your vent pipe is smaller than your fill pipe, as the oil man is filling the tank, he's building up head pressure on the vessel, which will actually blow a hole uh, in a tank where the holes are slowly corroding or weakening already. And then every time he fills it, he'll blow oil into the ground for the 10 or 15 minutes every time he comes and fills it. So for all the homeowners that have two different size fills and vents, it's time to remove your tank. Okay, the tank is out of, gr out of the ground. No leaks. It's a good tank. So it's about a quarter to 11. Gotta wait till 12 o'clock for the inspector, which means he'll show at 2.15. Nothing against the local code enforcers, but that's how it goes. Let's go see how Craig and Mike are doing. I hear him drilling. Okay, Brian. I'm just happy I have the action bag with me. Cover it all up. There you go. Okay, so I just bragged a little bit. Let's pull that tarp off. It's pretty impressive already. Got that dirt off. And look at that. Looks like we got an operator. Okay, all the overburden is in now. In and compacted. And now we're gonna back the truck up, bring the topsoil in and compact that in lifts also. We'll see how we're doing with the install. I think it's almost done. Tank set in place. Copper's run. It's got a good pitch on it. It's all doped. Three quarters tank all we got to do is fire the burner and then we'll put some hydraulic cement on those go back outside finish raking and seed okay here's the final product 
seed and hay. Well, we'll get the hay in a minute. Uh, there's your fill pipe running out of the ground. Mike's painting it right now. Just finished raking. That's it. And of course, another fine job. Tank Masters Environmental.